Hello everyone, I'm here with Pascal Böhner and we are going to talk about basic principles of domain names in Germany. Pascal, let's start with a very general question. Can you sell and buy .de domain names? Yes, as a matter of principle you can, although technically it's a bit different, because domain names here in Germany are not treated as a property or as an intellectual property right that can be transferred. What you actually do is that you assign the contractual relationship that you have with the registry. The DENIC is in Germany responsible for the .de domain names. And that contract is then assigned to your buyer of the domain name. Okay, so you mentioned the registry. The registry applies a strict first come, first served principle. Yes. So what they do not do is they do not check whether a domain name registration is potentially in conflict with another prior right. So if I am the owner of a trademark and I believe that a German domain name registration may potentially infringe my rights in a trademark, what can I do? You're absolutely right. That is a big problem. You cannot, from the outset, prevent someone else registering a domain name with your trademark and, for example, a generic term. So what you can do is obviously raising claims for trademark or name infringement. But the problem in Germany is that you don't have the mandatory arbitration proceedings, as you would for .com domains or other yeah. generic or country code level domains. So you don't have the uniform dispute resolution procedure or something similar on the country level, which means, as a general rule, you don't have arbitration proceedings, but would have to file a full-fledged court action with the civil courts. A full-fledged court action sounds like quite an effort. It is. So, um, can you maybe think of any easier ways to transfer a potentially infringing domain name? Yes, there are easier ways to do that. One very effective and important tool you have for the .de domain names is the so-called dispute entry. That's just an entry you're making with the registry, where they do not really block the domain name, so the domain name is still accessible and being used by that third party. But what they do is they prevent that it's being transferred to a third party again. So with this dispute entry, you have a certain security on that domain name. When you start taking action against the owner, so sending him a warning letter or something else, it's in short that they cannot transfer it back to someone else, third party, which you have to run after them again. So that is a very important tool to be taken into account. And then avoiding court proceedings means you can always send a warning letter hoping that you can resolve the case amicably out of court. And if that doesn't help, there's one, let's call it trick. Registration data, especially for foreign registrants, are often not correct. And they have to be correct, otherwise the registry would cancel the domain name. And if you find that out, if you can verify that the registration data is incorrect, you can go to the registry, they will do a double check. And if they confirm that the registration data is not correct, they will cancel the domain name. And the benefit of the dispute entry I was mentioning before is that the domain name will be directly transferred to you, which is obviously an easier way than going full court proceedings. That does sound like a good way to save costs and time compared to court proceedings. So thanks, Pascal, for sharing these insights. Thanks, Ronja. And um, thank you for watching. If you're interested in more information on domain names, look at our website. We have an IPO brochure on domain name law. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.